What's up guys, today we're going to be going over this distorted jitter time glitch effect. I think it looks pretty cool, so that's what we're going to be going over together today. By the way, if you like effects just like these, I need to put you onto my brand new ultimate brain wrap bundle. This is by far the best pack I've ever made. With over 60 presets, you can instantly add those brain rot distortion edits in a matter of clicks. So first we have the brain rot essentials that are packed with 30 plus presets that are guaranteed to give you those choppy distorted looks. They're extremely easy to use. You just have to create an adjustment layer, slap it on and you get a crazy result. Then we have the brain rot text and tattoos pack. If you're looking to get those high energy, choppy text is in the bottle as well then my favorite part by far of the bundle is the animated shape elements there are 25 plus animated shape elements that you can instantly just drag and drop into your projects and get really those like brain rot sequences that you're seeing everywhere right now without surfing on the internet for hours it is right there in the folder so that's what i love about it i'm very excited for you guys to use it and that's why we're running a early bird sale right now to celebrate the launch so you can get it at a crazy discount so make sure to take advantage of that before the price goes up as well i left a discount code in the description just for sticking around and supporting the channel now let's not waste any more time let's get into the tutorial so this is the clip that we're going to use we're going to create this kind of like time jitter glitch effect to it to create the base of our effect we really want to create that time jitter first and then we're going to create like stylized looks afterwards what we're going to do is go to time warp we're going to drag time warp into our scene. Then very important, you want to make the speed at the beginning 100. And then now we're going to keyframe all of these to go back and forth and just really create that time jitter effect. So it's not anything precise, but what I'm going to do is click on the stopwatch, give it at 100, go a few frames further. We can do something like minus 150, something like that. And then we're just going to go back and forth. So Let's go ahead and then let's do 300, let's say. But then when we go back right here, we're going to do minus 300 as well. You basically just want to keep things proportionate so that it kind of keeps like the same speed. So we're going to keep doing that. I'm going to do 200 here, let's say. Further, let's do minus 180, 230, minus 170, let's say. And then what we can do is we're gonna grab all of these and then we're gonna go to time warp and speed right here. So on the clock watch, we're gonna do alt click and then we're gonna type loop out. So that's gonna loop all of the keyframes that we've done. That way we don't have to keep like repeating the keyframes all over again. It just saves you a bunch of time to be honest. So yeah, let's type loop out. It is that one right here. So as you can see, we already get this cool jitter effect. The only thing is, as you can see, we kind of get like these weird artifacts. That is because we have the pixel motion on. So very important. We're going to do whole frames so that we can avoid that as you can see it's gone now so now that looks pretty nice already but i think i want to give it more of a choppy look so we're going to create a new adjustment layer and then we're going to give it a low frame kind of look so we're going to go to posterize time i really recommend uh maybe like creating a preset for it because this is an effect that we use a lot on this channel actually in my new bundle it is already there. I have an effect made. It's called Essential Low FPS, of course, packed with presets. I'll show you a bit later. So, so now that it is at eight, you're going to get that cool look right here, really like distorted. So now to stylize it even more, we're going to create a kind of like deep fried, you know, like those kind of memes, that kind of effect. So let me show you how to do that. We're going to drag the unsharp mask effect onto our adjustment layer. And you basically want to increase this, but you want to make the radius bigger as you can see we're getting that look that we want there it is so now it looks pretty nice now i think i want to add like a more glitchy effect to it so we're gonna duplicate this layer all right and we're gonna pre-compose it so let's just do this right here and then we're gonna create a mask as a rectangle we can put it over its face we can create a square right here so first off we can press s and increase the scale so that we get this kind of like big zoom on his face. And you can also go into the composition and switch up the keyframes a bit so that you get a different result. It's really going to add to the effect, in my opinion. So I'm going to go back into the composition. So now, as you can see, you get this really cool effect. Now I'm going to show you what's possible with the Ultimate Brain Lock Bundle. 
let me show you how it works so if we just uncheck this right here so we only get this we're going to create a new adjustment layer and you're going to see this pack is filled with values so we have the brain rot effects essentials right here we have over 30 presets right here so as you can see without the presets it looks like this and then you can just add let's say you add mp4 damage so now instantly you get that kind of choppy look you can even add on to it by let's say we choose let's say we choose like the swagged out on steroids one you get this really like fried effect kind of like brain rot effect so we have trippy grunge right here that's really gonna add like those distorted colors a really more like a gritty look into your scenes we even have the preset 2 geek that is gonna do exactly what we did uh this whole like time jitter kind of effect now let's say we add mp4 damage onto our adjustment layer we can also add let's say swag 20 tell filter as well you can really stack these effects and really get a cool result then we're going to go to my favorite part of the bundles i said earlier which are the animated elements you can integrate them into our scene by far my favorite part of the bundle is all of these insane animated shape elements put so much quick into this so fire we have animated tracking box i love this one so we're going to drag in a couple of those just to show you how easy the workflow is Let's drag all of these in there. So you can just adjust them real quick. The geek emoji one, I think. I'm gonna drag it over here. And we have the money sign as well. We can increase just like this. Now these look particularly good when you combine them with the presets out of the brain rot essential. So let's say we put it under the adjustment layer. It's really going to pick up like that distorted look that we want. And now if we play it, you instantly get that insane result. As you can see, the internet browser is static. It's going to be a perfect opportunity to show you the text animations that you can apply to objects as well, or any footage really. So you get like the sturdy plus presets. So what we can do, let's say we add any, let's do zoom chaos. We add that instantly it is animated in that choppy style. So if you want to see a couple other ones, we can do Caesar shake right here. Now it's gonna shake side to side. We have one key movement as well that I like very much because it's more like stretchy. The possibilities with this pack are endless to be honest. Once again, if you're interested in copying the pack, it is available in the description with a discount as well for $5. You get this really cool jitter look. To emphasize on it, we can as well Let's say we duplicate that one. I think I'm going to put another one right here. Now, here's the final result. So that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and if it brought you any value, please consider subscribing. We're on our way to 10K. I truly appreciate all of the support that you guys have been giving me. This is crazy. This is my dream for real. I love making these videos, so thank you so much. Also, please let me know in the comments what type of tutorials you would like me to cover next. If you have any specific ideas, or we're really on the grind. I am back uh, in full effect. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.